Hi, how are you? It's Dr. Splickel, functional podiatrist and medical advisor for Step Strong. Today, I want to speak to you about what do you do if it's actually not plantar fasciitis. So let's say you've been having heel pain for the last several months, maybe even over six months, and you've been doing the stretching and the rolling and the icing and your heel pain will not go away. This is where we want to start to ask ourselves, maybe it's not even plantar fasciitis. Now there are four main differentials that we want to think about in the heel pain that is not responding to classic plantar fasciitis treatment. The first one is going to be that you might actually have plantar fasciosis. Now I did another video on this where it was, is my heel pain acute or chronic? Now plantar fasciosis is a chronic condition of a persistent plantar fasciitis. So if you have had your plantar heel pain and a confirmed plantar fasciitis diagnosis, and it's been persisting for over six months, or you have a waxing and waning presentation, meaning it flares up for a few weeks or a few months and then it calms down several months later, flares up again and you go through this cycling of waxing and waning. That would also fall under plantar fasciosis. A chronic condition such as plantar fasciosis means that we are dealing with some sort of stasis and degenerative changes in the tissue itself. It needs to be addressed differently than an acute plantar fasciitis. Now, the second differential is that perhaps you have a partial tear of the plantar fascia. And this is what I see a lot in my office is that chronic persisting plantar heel pain, not responding to conservative treatment. They come to my office and I know right away I need to order an MRI to rule out any sort of partial tearing of the plantar fascia. Now this often goes with plantar fasciosis that we want to make sure we rule out any sort of tearing. So does the plantar fascia just have thickening and degeneration, which would be plantar fasciosis, or do we actually have some sort of tearing and fraying in the fibers and that would fall under a partial tear of the plantar fascia. Partial tear of the plantar fascia is definitely going to be treated different than an acute plantar fasciitis. It'll be quite similar to plantar fasciosis, but we're trying to repair and regenerate either the chronically degenerated tissue or the partially torn tissue. Now your Third differential is what's called a Baxter's nerve entrapment. What this is, is there is a nerve that runs underneath your heel. So I'm on the inside of the foot. This is classically where you get plantar fasciitis pain. And there is a nerve that runs underneath like this. It's called the Baxter's nerve or the lateral branch of the lateral plantar nerve. And this is going this way and it's coming this way across to the muscles that run along your pinky toe over here. Now that Baxter's nerve runs underneath the muscles and in between the plantar fascia, and sometimes it can get sticky, inflamed. Sometimes as it comes down here, which is called the tarsal tunnel, it can get inflamed or sticky. So a Baxter's nerve entrapment is different than a inflammation or a micro tearing of the plantar fascial tissue. We're actually dealing with nerve irritation, nerve inflammation. So maybe sometimes treated similar steroid injections, offloading it, releasing the feet, things like that. But we do want to make sure that we have a confirmation. Are we dealing with a nerve diagnosis or are we dealing with a soft tissue diagnosis? Now your fourth differential is going to be actually nothing with the heel. It's going to be your posterior tibialis. Now your posterior tibialis runs down your leg. This is the inside of the leg again, wraps around the inside of the ankle, and then it's going to insert right here on this bone called the navicular. Now, as soon as it inserts onto the navicular, it actually fans out and it inserts kind of like my hand on the bottom of the foot. So it has some fibers that are gonna shoot back towards the heel. So to have arch pain, medial arch pain, medial arch pain, that's kind of rotating or radiating posterior can start to create that similar presentation where at first glance, people might think it's plantar fasciitis. But again, 
it's going to be very different. It's treated differently. It's not treated with injections in the same location. So having posterior tibial tendinitis or tendinosis as a differential is something really important. So if you have been experiencing plantar heel pain for weeks, months, and you've been doing conservative treatment and you're not getting any benefit, I do suggest seeing a podiatrist for a more thorough evaluation and to rule out some of these differentials. Again, those differentials are going to be plantar fasciosis, partial tear of the plantar fascia, Baxter's nerve entrapment, and possibly a posterior tibial tendinitis or tendinosis. Now, to learn more about how you can use systemic enzymes for all of these conditions, please go to stepstrong.com. To learn more about how I treat patients, please go to dremilysplickle.com.